All right, so you know what they say, uh, Saturdays are Donato days. Donato's Pizza, uh, I don't think they ever say that. I'm saying that today. I'm giving you two videos. They have a new dessert, and I've always wanted to try their calzones ever since I tried their pizza. So I have a uh, build your own calzone in this box right here, and I have the dessert off camera that I will film for a second video that you will see later on today. So let's go. Build your own calzone, not the heaviest box. Donato's Pizza, come on. You got to come through for me. Today's Saturday, Donato's Day. All right, that's it. I, I'm, uh, I'm all over the place today. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Shout out Mudcats, Carolina Mudcats. All right, let's go. So in the box, we have a uh, small marinara dipping sauce right there. Oh, all right. So this does not look that impressive and it's not that hefty. Like I said, the box was light. It does look uh, a little bit overdone and it does not resemble a lot or any calzone I've ever had before. Uh, so check it out right there. That's what we got going on. I think this was $10.99 for this calzone. They are a bit pricey over at Donato's, uh, the pizzas. Woo, pizzas are pricey. Uh, so I went, uh, they let you pick two toppings. I went with meatball and pepperoni inside with the provolone cheese. So let's take out the uh, thickest piece right here. Kind of give you a close up. Check it out right there. Yeah. So that's one of the four sections of this build your own calzone. Like I said, I don't know, interesting uh, topping. Got the undercarriage right there. So there you go. Then you have these two nubs, this one especially. You always get this with a calzone, like the end right there. And then you're only gonna probably have a little bit of filling and cheese on the inside there, uh, the way they cut it. This one's just a little bit bigger right here. Check it out. So to me, the best two pieces of the uh, calzone are the two middle pieces, which, yeah, similar, similar amount of uh, filling on the inside. We're gonna go with this one. Wish me luck, build your own calzone on a Donato's Day. Maybe I'm starting something new. Donato's Day, Saturdays, let's go. All right, it looked overcooked. They had a nice uh, bite through. Mm. Nice little flavor, check it out. Okay. Oh, sauce alert, and I'm wearing white. I'm a brave man. All right, so listen. Um, that first bite surprised me. It looked like it was overdone. It still looks like it was overdone, but it had a nice soft uh, little bite through, a little bit of a crunch. Uh, enjoyed the flavor. There was a decent amount of the fillings on the inside. Uh, sometimes uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Check out the sauce. Yeah, a little marinara for dipping. So here we go. You know how we do. When I dip, you dip. We dip, check it out. Going right in. Oh, that is red. That is red. All right, let's see if this picks it up a notch. Okay. All right, so listen. Um, not your typical calzone, not a calzone I'm used to, not a calzone I grew up to. These things are probably double in size, the ones I'm used to. Has tons of cheese on the inside. Uh, usually comes with uh, a little uh, ragazz, a little ragazz. I'm not Italian, I'm probably butchering that. Uh, but ricotta cheese uh, on the inside as well. That's my favorite type of uh, calzone. This is like stuffed bread. Uh, has a different texture and a different vibe to me. 
Um, I like it. It tastes good. It's just not screaming calzone to me. And I want this thing to scream. I want it to get up on top of the roof with a megaphone and scream, I'm a calzone. But um, I don't know. I've always been impressed with the Nottos the couple times I've had it. Uh, all of the ingredients seem fresh. Uh, they did not skimp on at least the two inside pieces right there. Could use a lot more cheese, like I mentioned. Um, and definitely, uh, I didn't see an option to add uh, some ricotta. Ricotta. Another bite. And again, I think this was $10.99, $11.99. So looking at the size of this compared to maybe a small pizza or spending a little bit more for a medium pizza, I'm going to get a pizza from Donato's all day. All day over this. I'm glad I finally tried it. And the only reason I'm trying it that I mentioned there's a new dessert and it's right over there. And you're going to see that later. Hmm. I got all the filling right there. Ooh. All right, so listen, let me give you one more cross section of uh, the other slice right there. It's a decent amount of filling. I wanted it to be bigger. I wanted more cheese. And um, I don't know. I like it. Like I said, it's different from any normal uh, regular calzone I've ever had in my life. Uh, not too uh, excited about this end piece right here. That definitely is hard on the edge. And you know that nothing is really going on on the inside of that. Um, I don't know, if this thing was $8.99, I might get it again. But when you start getting up over that $10 mark for the size uh, in comparison to a pizza, uh, this is probably something I'm not going to gravitate to down the road. Uh, but I was definitely happy uh, I was able to try it. Well, let's give it a rating. On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the uh, Build Your Own Calzone uh, pepperoni and meatball from Donato's on Donato's Day. I made it up. A rating of... Whew, a couple hat adjustments. It's solid. I'm going to give it an 81. I'm going to give it an 81. Uh, there needs to be uh, some different things done to this in order for me to um, rate it higher or want to come back. And I touched on all those topics during this review. Um, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Light up the comments. Donato's A, have you ever tried it? B, have you ever tried their calzone? And C, do you know what dessert is off camera right there? Should I give you a uh, little teaser? Give you a little hint? Maybe in some bonus footage? Stay tuned. Maybe a little bonus footage. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. All right, bonus footage, you wanna see? Every piece is important. Small box, I got the half size of this dessert. You ready?